Well, today's MLK Day. A lot of you are going to be outside. We might have the day off. Dave Spar joining us with a look at the forecast. Good morning, Dave. Well, good morning, Raina. Good morning, everybody. Not bad today, although we're starting things off cloudy, and that's going to be the case for the first few hours. A little bit of breaking up in the skies. We can credit some of this to the fact we're kind of sandwiched in there with some dry air. So once we get the atmosphere working a little bit here, it'll do some cloud eating on our behalf and maybe open up those skies just a bit. Not going to stick around too long, though. We do have an unsettled weather pattern our way. East Bay Shoreline still looking at the carpet of lights, as you will notice. Headed to Tahoe, your question. Well, if you're headed next weekend, it's going to be messy. That means because of a lot of unsettled weather coming your way and actually in a series of ways, which I'll show you in just a bit. But basically the next couple of days, rain showers into Tuesday, and that's mostly rain showers. There'll be some snow with this, but it doesn't look like it's going to stick too much. 46 down to 43, 48 by Thursday. Variable clouds pretty much cover that time period outside the little rain event. And again, mostly a rain event too. Now when these uh, subsequent systems start to get here later in this forecast period, it looks like those elevations are going to be up there to 7,000 feet or so. So fairly high for the snow. Upper 40s we're looking at on the big board here. We got 50 Concord, uh, East Bay Shoreline, mid to upper 40s as well. San Jose still hanging at about 50. First things first, we have our system on Tuesday night afternoon, Tuesday night, overnight into Monday. Notice the snow is mostly towards our north. Get a break and then Friday, open up the door literally to the Pacific. I better get on this side because there's so much traffic here, I'm going to get run over. But you get the general idea as we get into Friday, there's a hit into Saturday break, into Sunday, kind of gels right into Sunday as you'll notice. This is Sunday morning, might have some hope in the afternoon. Again, we're kind of piecing this together as we get a little closer. Another break, here comes some more into early the following week while well, you get the gist. So anyway, coming in from the west, that'll be pretty much the pattern, and that tends to be more mild air, not as much of the cold air we need to help facilitate that deeper snow up to Tahoe. So we got rain on top of snow, then it refreezes. <laughs> I've seen those kind of situations back east a little bit there, and it makes it interesting to try to walk on that snow when it's a little layer of ice on top of it. 59, San Francisco, you got upper 50s lining up the, uh, the uh, coast. The... Uh, Bay Shoreline in the upper 50s as well. Lower 60s, 60 for Palo Alto. Redwood City also at about 60. Down to the South Bay, we got 62. San Jose, Cupertino about 60. Not a lot of movement. This is like yesterday for the most part. Upper 50s, East Bay Shoreline. Tri-Valley, you're looking at upper 50s. Scratching near about 60. Let's do 56 Vallejo, 59 for Napa, and 61 Santa Rosa. First couple days relatively uneventful. As uh, we see that rain event happen for us Tuesday, Wednesday. No statements on this, by the way, so the National Weather Service thinks we're okay on that. However, I suspect by the end of this forecast period, we get into Friday, Saturday, into Sunday, we will probably hear more about uh, flood statements to come out. Uh, if any do, of course, we'll let you know on that front. Raina Howell, the Bay Area Bridges. All right, Bridges.